Hello and welcome Sumo fans to another instalment of the Sumo News. A short one for you today guys, so let's get right into it. Haku Ho's flame will never die as his special exhibition at the Koko Gikan now sees its third extension for people to go and check out the memorabilia and relive some of his greatest moments. I realise his retirement ceremony is next year and therefore him opening his Hayati run is still a wee while off. But man, am I excited to see what will happen. I just have this thought where I think he has some sumo secret or he knows some special thing and that if he can impart it on, you know, guys that he builds for the ground up, he will breed superior wrestlers. Of course, that's just my theory. But while we're on the subject of Hayes, Nishon Ozeki Castle slash Bea has finally had its grand opening on the 5th of May, attended by the press and sponsors and the wrestlers were out and, you know, all, all the good stuff. It was a happy day all round. And it also gave us fans a glimpse at his new wife and Nishio Nozeki Okami-san, who will be, of course, instrumental in helping raise his rikishi. He has now accumulated 18 wrestlers, as I mentioned in our last news video. You can check that out with the link in the description. And you can also get some glimpses of exclusive footage of the retirement ceremonies of one Amanishiki, now Ajigawa Oyakata, and ex Toyonoshima, now Izutsu Oyakata, of which I was kindly given from a friend of World of Sumo, another channel called My Jet Set Life, who is a serious sumo fan and attends near all sumo events in Basho and captures for all of us fans that fan eye view sitting in the crowd. Please follow their channel to get the full videos yourself, guys. Link in the description too. Honestly, I see Nishio Nozeki Bea as the hair powerhouse in the near future. It seems ex Kisena Sato has his finger seriously on the pulse, especially with some ex greats helping him run things as well, like Nakamura Oyakata, ex Yoshikaze, is just one example. In other news, a new coach enters Taganora Bea and one former Juryo man, Ko Onishiki, who has now been hired by the Oyakata. After retiring from active duty, he has been involved in children's sumo events all over Osaka, but accepted the offer from Taganora Oyakata, with whom he had some interactions in the past becoming friendly. Some Oyakata don't really coach Rikishi or don't have certain expertise in certain areas, and some here hire coaches privately, who are not NSK members or employees, which of course is the case here. He is most likely expected to help with the younger Rikishi there, but will be assisting Takayasu as well, with advice and Butsukari. Taganura apparently told him to disregard the difference in their past rank and guide the former Ozeki as best he can, so hopefully this can help Takayasu in the long run. And guys, that's it for this episode of the Sumo News. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Please like, subscribe, hit that bell. Oh, what a nugget! What a